Welcome back to another video. I've recently become top 500. This map we're running uh, Ryan Zarya, Soldier, Mercy, Anna. So I've got pocket hills. And like always, with Farah on Oasis, this map, you want to take the high ground and contest any enemy hit scan. And that's what I'm doing right now. And as expected, a soldier comes here with a mercy pocket. He does get some headshots and picks me off really quick. Fortunately I get a res and I still have to contest the high ground so you will see me going up here again I have to go for this uh, soldier he cannot be a high ground I get some lucky hits there when he falls down Boop away the mercy so she doesn't res him and now I've taken the high grounds so this is really good You can see I got three picks on the healers here and uh, even though my team loses here I'm still in a good position where I can chase the Mercy and there's only a Winston, what's he gonna do? I still got the Mercy on me. And as you saw, a soldier was shooting from me, he's coming from spawn, so I don't wanna chase the Winston now. I'm just gonna wait for the team, group up and together with the team we can go for the Winston. You see the soldier is on me already, he's just uh, waiting for an opportunity to pick me. So I'm gonna use this cover in the middle to avoid the soldier for now. And when the time comes, I can go in for the soldier. So we get a pick. You can see the soldier is trying a flank. So I'm like deciding I'm gonna chase him now. I did not succeed and I end up blowing myself up, which was a pretty big fail. <laughs> so I've just respawned and I'm gonna try to join my team. They have still not taken the point, but we're winning the fight. And fortunately, we end up capturing the point. And right now, you can see I have barrage ready. So now you wanna think, where am I gonna barrage? And you can do it differently of course, but I am decide I'm gonna try and barrage them from above here. See, I decide I'm gonna go behind, but I do not see anyone to barrage here. So I decide I'm gonna pull out, as you saw with the boob. And I'm trying to make sense, where are they coming? I want to do this barrage. It's really important that I do it correctly, so I don't waste it. And I see, okay, there's some healers hit scans here. I'm gonna go in here, see what I can do. There are too many, they're getting healed, and I get hooked and picked off. Looking back, I should have played more passive since my tanks were not pushing them enough, so I was alone there. So I'm back from spawn and I want to join my team, but they've all died, and I have to make the decision to pull out and try to get away, and I manage just uh, nearly. And now we're just gonna regroup. Uh, make sure we're all uh, six players together, don't want to go in before we are a full team. And I did see a soldier flanking here on the side, so I decide I'm gonna take this flank and see if I can pick him off. See the Anna on the high ground, she jumps down which is great. And now I'm still looking for that soldier, I see he's here on the right side. And I decide I'm gonna do a surprise barrage. It does kind of fail, but I do get the rest and the enemy Mercy does not rest. This lets me finish the Anna here, and now I can chase the Mercy because I got the soldier before there. Unfortunately, the healers forget me, but we end up getting the picks. I'm back from spawn yet another time. Uh, we are holding the point, and now I'm just trying to get another ult charge. I see the soldier coming here, and he's trying to come on the side. I do a boop on the Winston. And the soldier goes for a visor, but I managed to pick him off in the air there. So I've done my job basically for the fight. If you get two picks and die, that's totally fine as a DPS. And as you saw how important awareness is if you're especially Farah. If I had not seen the soldier come there, he would have visored me, maybe the Mercy, and we might have lost that fight. So always try to keep an eye out for the enemy hit scan if you are Farah. Now I'm trying to get ulti, see if I can get some free picks here. I got a free Anna, she did not even see me come. And I'm looking for another uh, player to pick. Uh, I do a really bad barrage because I panic, which is never good, but I get the Lucio. So I've gotten both healers basically, and that's still a good trade, even though I failed the barrage. So we take the point, and now we're at round 2. The tanks have changed, we have uh, Roadhog Sigma. But the rest team is the same as before. Uh, now I want to get some ult charge here. And you can see I noticed them going right side. Going point. So I decide I'm gonna go up the high ground and see if I can boop someone. And fortunately the soldier uh, is not aware of me and I get a pick. And now we're just gonna try to contest them down from the high ground. 
I try another boop, as you can see it did not work and that's fine as long as you try. I've get the McCree here and now both hit scans are out of the game. I managed to get the Brig here and the fight is won at this point. And as you saw I was using cover and I did not go in for the hit scans immediately. You always want to use cover and use your uh, surprise advantage against hit scans. That's where Farah is a lot better than a hit scan. Uh, on long range you do not stand a chance most of the time. So now we are getting ready for the next fight. They are pushing main and I almost got a uh, barrage. I get lucky there with the Winston pick. Uh, for some reason his healers did not heal him enough. And I just tried to get some uh, rockets from above there when they are backing. Shooting rockets above these walls is a really good tactic because you can shoot and hide and they cannot really do anything against you. And you can see I do get a soldier because of that. He's not even aware I was above there. And uh, we are managing to get the Winston because he was anti-grenaded by Anna. So I go again above there, try to get some free rocket hits. And I'm still got barrage. So in case a fight starts, we're really well uh, prepared. And I get another pick there on the Anna since she was also not looking up. And that's why that position is really good. So we have taken 70% almost and the enemy team is getting very pressured to do something. And you will see that a tracer comes behind and we realize they are gonna flank here on the right. So we uh, rotate back to the point, that's important. Don't stay in a position and then let them take you know, the flank. And uh, we manage to hold the right flank there. They end up going main now, they're gonna push with all they can, they use uh, ultimates, the diva is after me, I go through the building, boop around, make sure I lose the diva, now I hear the soldier visor so I go above to hide from him, and that way you can see I avoided the diva chasing me and then I avoided a soldier visor, and end up getting two picks with barrage, so you can see how you can use cover to your advantage. And at this point we managed to win the fight, uh, they've lost too many, they used all their ultimates, didn't really get many kills. And here's a good example where they went soldier and they went diva to counter me, but it ended up uh, hurting their team composition even more, because the diva and soldier couldn't even kill me, so it was bad for them to even go those heroes. They could have went ball or something else to pressure our healers perhaps. Anyway, that was the video. It was a bit shorter than usual. But I hope you got some uh, new insight on how you can play Farah and avoid getting picked by hitscan and uh, avoid uh, enemy divas that are chasing you. And if you got a mercy with your healing, you, you're totally fine even if they play uh, with or any hit scan against you. But if you don't have a mercy healing you, you have to play a bit differently. I will make another video where I do not have a mercy healing me. And uh, I'll show you how you're supposed to play and think in those situations.